Hi, Kara from Health, Home, and Happiness here today with another canning video. Today we're going to can black beans in broth. I have two pounds of black beans that I just covered in filtered water and soaked overnight. You can see how it's nice and foamy. So next what we're going to do is we're going to rinse them and then I'm going to can them in chicken broth that I have going over here in my Instant Pot. Um, I have another video on making chicken broth. I'm sure I have at least two or three videos on making chicken broth um, if you need a refresher on how to make that. But we have our hot unsalted chicken broth growing here, our black beans already soaked, and then I have my jars out that I'm gonna use. So I can beans in broth often because my kids seem to do really well with beans, um, especially when I soak them to try and kinda alleviate some of the anti-nutrients and make them more digestible. And then as most of you know, my goal in life for my children is to get as many animal products into their little bodies, their growing bodies, as possible. And so by using chicken broth instead of water for our cooking liquid, then they have that boost in the easily digestible, easily available nutrients that are in animal products. And then I also use my own sea salt instead of whatever sea salt is in canned beans. Um, so they're super easy. So sometimes I'll do quarts, but today I am doing pints. And we'll add this to like two pounds of ground beef that we're making for taco night. And then I'm doing half pints and this, my nine year old loves to just open one of these, heat it and add some cheese to it for a super easy, quick lunch that is honestly cost me pennies and is full of that, those good nutrients from the chicken broth and the cheese that he puts on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we soaked our beans overnight. We just cover them with filtered water and we're gonna rinse these out. So after rinsing, I just put them right back in. I did buy an extra stainless steel pot for my Instant Pot and I found that having an extra makes stuff like this super fast. So we have our beans. I just rinsed them under tap water and they are dry in here. And we're gonna cover them just until they're covered with chicken stock and we will use some additional water if needed. So I'm just putting a strainer right over the pot to pour the stock. I use the word stock and broth interchangeably. I know some people get annoyed by that. And this is has been hot in our Instant Pot. I just ran it. Um, it's just a couple chicken wings and some onion scraps that I put in there with like three quarters full of filtered water and then I just put it on high pressure for 90 minutes and let it reduce pressure naturally. And so we're just gonna pour it through our strainer until our beans are covered. And if we don't have enough broth, we'll just use, oh, we will have enough broth, but you could top it up with some filtered water if you need to. So I'm just gonna add the rest of that. Here we go. That is good. And we're just gonna pop this into our Instant Pot and bring it to a boil simmer for 30 minutes. While our beans are simmering in the Instant Pot, we're gonna go ahead and get our canner ready. So we're just gonna add a couple inches of water and we will put our jars right in there to preheat as this is, so the jars are hot when, and the canner is hot when the beans are ready to go in. So we just want our jars to be nice and warm, a similar temperature to the beans and the stock before we fill the jars with the stock. And this isn't to sterilize the jars. This is to make it so that it doesn't shock when we put the hot liquid and the hot beans in cold jars, then it can sometimes shock it and then it will um, shatter the jars. And so we don't want to do that. You'll see today I'm using my pressure canner. Beans are something that you need to do in the pressure canner and you'll see how easy and straightforward it is. And just having all of these pre-made and on hand for the cost of like, I think that two pounds of beans that are in here was like maybe $3. Like I feel like dried beans have gone up, but $3 for all this finished food that we get is fantastic. And then it's nice and easy for the kids to either be able to get into themselves or for me to add on a quick like taco night, which our, our tacos are very um, rudimentary. We just put like whatever kind of salad greens we have. So I'll put 
two pounds of ground beef into a pan um, that's been previously canned so it's all already cooked, one pint of beans, which you can adjust that as you want and they already have that chicken stock in them so those are super good for you too. And then we'll add olives, chopped tomatoes, avocado, um, definitely sour cream and cheese because I love getting those animal products into my kids. And that's our super easy taco night um, where it's just taco salad, which on nights that I'm rushed, it is just meat, beans from the pantry and um, cheese. <laughs> our jars have been heating now and our beans are finished cooking. So we're just gonna add beans to hot beans and that cooking liquid to the jar and we're gonna leave one inch of headspace, which if you remember from my other video is just right below where you screw the rings on. We're just gonna top this up with the liquid, which if you remember is our chicken broth. And we're just trying to get right to the, where the um, rim of the jar is, where the threads start. So that's one inch of headspace. You do need to leave that or your jars could explode in the canner. Not to scare you, but they could. These all look good. We're gonna wipe down all of our rims so that we can get a good seal. This isn't, again, this isn't sterile yet. We're gonna sterilize it in the canner, but we're gonna wipe down our rims so we can get a good seal, put on clean new, lids and then tighten the rings until they're finger tight. So this is just tap water on a clean dishcloth. Oh, we need to add our salt. So you don't have to add salt. I like to add salt because I like my food salted. <laughs> but it's half a teaspoon for a pint jar, and so then I'll use a quarter teaspoon for these little jars. And I just approximate. And these jars are hot, so you might want to grab a um, dish towel to do this. And we're just going to do tight, like like finger tight. Like you don't need to like break the jar, but also it needs to be tight on there, or else you're going to have a lot of leakage. And these jars are hot, so use what you need to do to protect your hands. And then, then we're going to add cream of tartar, just like a cup, like a teaspoon of cream of tartar to my hot water over in my canner because we have hard water here. And as I showed you on the, I showed you in a video, the ground beef canning video, um, it'll leave like a white film on the outside of my jars. If I don't put cream of tartar in there, if you don't have hard water, it might not, you might not need to add the cream of tartar, but I like having those pretty sparkling clean jars when I'm done without having to scrub them. So here's our preheated canner. Put these in. Here's our cream of tartar. I just shake a little bit in. Put the rest of our jars in. This doesn't look like it's on right, so let's fix that. There. And they just need to be evenly distributed. You can stack, you have to put a rack in between them, but you can stack these, these little ones if you need to. This will all fit in my canner though. But I have a bigger Presto canner. But I like this small one because it comes up to pressure faster. So when I, unless I'm doing a really big batch where I'm like layering jars or doing like half gallon jars, I just use this. I think it's 14 quarts. I'll link to the exact one that I use down below. So we have our beans right in here. I have mine on the middle, the middle burner just because I like to have it back from the edge a little bit. Put 
our lid on. And so I'm just a quick reminder, I went into more depth with this, with the um, ground beef video, but we want our emergency release back here so that if something does go haywire, this is gonna send steam back towards the wall. This is our vent. We have our burner on still, and I'm just gonna turn it up to high because it's a smaller burner. You don't want your flames to be on the outside of your um, canner. But we have steam coming out here already that we can see, so we need to vent this for 10 minutes. And then we can put our weight on. And for beans, I'll link um, to the recipe down below. But for beans, we want to be at 14 pounds pressure. So I need to be at 14 pounds pressure. If you're at sea level, you'll be at 11 pounds of pressure. And we have both pints and half pints in here. So we're gonna go ahead and process to the longer time, which is pints. So we're gonna process. Once we put our weight on and it's come up to the correct pressure, we're gonna process, process for 75 minutes and then let it um, depressurize naturally. Once it's down at zero, we can take our weight off. And again, this is in the ground beef video if you want more thorough instructions on this. Um, take our weight off, wait for a few more minutes, and then we can open our lid. And then we should have perfectly preserved, um, then we should have perfectly preserved black beans that are ready to cool down and then be put on your pantry tomorrow. Our 75 minute timer just went off, so we are going to turn this off and just leave this until it depressurizes naturally. And we're all done. So thanks for joining me today. Um, please check out my other canning videos if having super simple, easy to make um, canned goods for your pantry is something that you would be interested in learning more about. And please click subscribe to see more videos from me. Thanks for joining us.